Cable First are renowned for making cables and connectors in the UK, but they've recently purchased this Sodic OPM 250O machine, which is the first one in Europe. Now, a lot of engineers look at these type of machines, a 3D printer, laser sintering, additive manufacturing, but what is the Sodic OPM 250L, Tony? It's a metal 3D printer with milling combined. Um, it's specialised in that field. Sodic typically develop things that other people don't do, and we felt this was a, a big step forward in technology, basically. OPM means one process manufacturing, and that's exactly what it does. What you do is you CAD program a part, put that into the machine and you end up with a finished product. So the milling machine itself is 45,000 RPM, 16 station tool changer, and we use HSK shrink fit tooling. What this enables you to do is get high finishes, so things like ejector pin holes you can produce on a machine. So the idea is you take it off the machine and you have to do nothing else to the part. It comes as a, as a finished part. The actual envelope of the machine is 250 by 250 by 250. We actually manufacture an OPM 350, just as simply a larger model. And what type of uh, customers over and above Cable First would attract uh, to, to purchase these machines? Uh, many customers. This machine is basically aimed at mold makers, certainly in the Asian market. Um, this is a big factor in there. But R&D companies, for example, who only want to do short runs, rather than for example, making a motor which could take six to eight weeks to manufacture. With this, you can program it, put it on a machine. Within two weeks, you've got a finished part of the machine. So a lot of tool makers, they find it very difficult to recruit because uh, the skills have gone to a certain extent. Now, the type of machines that you're selling here, the OPM, does that sort of upskill, de-skill? <laughs> two ways, I suppose, truthfully. I think it de-skills because what you need, you move the skill set from the hands-on, which are, those people are just not available, to basically the programming side. Now, with the best one in the world, lots of colleges are doing programming. Like CAD, the CAD packages available these days are so good. So what you're doing is you're, you're, you're allowing a CAD programmer to actually make a finished product, which is out of the realms of something that anybody could believe these guys are capable of. So what it means is you're, you're taking the skill away from one area, which is simply not available, i.e. the hands-on toolmaker, to the programmer. And, and the investment uh, that uh, Cable First have made with this machine, do you see similar companies looking at this technology? They are looking at it. It's, it is young, certainly, around Europe, but people are looking at the same thing. We haven't got the skill sets. We can't employ the people. How are we going to produce these parts in the future? For example, one company we're talking to are taking five to six months to go from development to finish mold tool. Well, this allows them to do that same process in one month and also without the personnel. And again, they have the same problem. They have people working there or 65, 66, 67. They don't want to retire. Once these people go, how are you going to replace these people? And this sort of technology, is it the future? We feel it's the future, yes, obviously, which is why we invested heavily into it. But we're seeing from other people, people are seeing the same thing. This is the future because, again, it comes down to skill sets. They want, they want a machine that can go, load it, walk away, forget about it, come in in three days' time, and they are have a finished mold tool. And for those engineers that may be attracted to this type of technology, what's your message to them? Come and see it. Come and look at it. Send us programs. Cable First are offering a, a subcontract bureau service. So get some parts made, and then you can see what you can't do in other methods. For example, one of the things that a lot of people want is conformal cooling. It's the things you can't see in a mold tool. All the top of it looks very flat, very nice. What you can't get to it is cooling inside the mold tool. If you get in conformal tooling, what you get is a faster mold, so the process is much quicker, better cooling, better product. All these things that mold tool makers are crying out for, basically. Thank you